Hey guys, and welcome to the Series 28 Winter Winter Event, Mary NS Xmas, uh, which is S1900 uh, NSXs. And, uh, well, you win, it's road racing, and you win a Porsche 911, apparently. Here are the tracks. And, uh, well, here's the car you can use. So I'm not going to use that one. No, you can use all of the NSXs. It's just the one that happens to be in this one stock. This does not. Here are the cards you can use. Yeah, to, to be honest, I didn't actually think about the Acura. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember uh, someone was talking to my Japanese friend about, you know, the Acura NSX and Honda NXX, and, you know, because they're yeah. called different things in different regions, and there's a lot of confusion about that and stuff like that. Well, the Acura is made for North American, the North American right. market. And the Acura is, well, it is to uh, Honda what the Lexus is to Toyota. It's their luxury right. brand. Yeah. Oops. And, uh, yeah, but it's not, it's not an NSX. Uh, <clears throat> well, it is, but it's, you know, fatter, more American. Oh, thanks oh. for that AI. Thanks for the brake check in mid corner. I just love I that. Oh, sorry, Snake. Uh, <laughs> uh, I saw a AI actually clip through the the bleachers and got straight into them, straight into the audience. Listen, that was interesting. Oh yeah, one of the things I was gonna say is, um, why do they need to reduce the frame rate on people on multiplayer? Because from what I remember them saying, whoops, uh, the game renders, oh shit, uh, and the back end at like 300 FPS or something, like the, the uh, physics on the back end, it runs at like 300 FPS or something, so uh, when you, what you see visually is only like a fraction of what it is internally, so it's like, why would they need to lower the frame rate, because it should be the same for all players, even if you're on like 30 FPS, you know, it's, they're just dividing by what the internal engine is running at. So I don't yeah, understand yeah, but why you, they need to do that. I mean, if you're running at uh, 180 frames per second, you're getting a lot uh, more detail, and you can mm -hmm. control your car finer than if you're getting 30. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe they still have that bug. I just remember there's a some sort of weird bug, if you remember... Even with like rivals and FH5, where people who have better graphical hardware somehow go faster. Uh, people I mean, there, there, there was a weird thing in Force of Four back in the day, where uh, it got everybody found out about it when they gave us the Mitsubishi pack, because mm -hmm. you had to drive one of the Mitsubishi's a certain distance, and it turned out that the distance you drive in the game is somehow calculated via your refresh rate on your screen. Mm -hmm. No. Which is a fucking weird way to do things. But if you were <laughs> if you were running at sixty frames per second, V sync, the distance would count double. Mm. Which makes all sorts of sense. Yeah. Or something. Uh yeah, it was very weird. And then uh, uh, for some, the bug was different because uh, in their case, it wouldn't count if they drove on dirt roads. Yeah, yeah. It, it was very but in general, interesting. In general, I just don't get the point because like... Uh, I, th I, think I, it, get I think... I get what you're saying, but I think it's based in part at least to Force of Four 
and uh, to some case, Force of Five have a thing in, uh, or had a thing in multiplayer okay. where Xbox networking package had priority mm -hmm. over PC package, which is mm -hmm. why when an Xbox player and a PC player crossed the line at the same time, the Xbox player would get the win. That's <laughs> oh, so stupid. And also why that uh, you you actually saw videos at one point where I actually made a couple of them, where you saw a PC player clearly on both screens, so both players saw the same thing. The PC player crossed the line first, but the game awarded the victory to the Xbox player. I was wondering, like, why that sort of thing happened. Yeah, That's, does that still happen? Uh, it, it, I haven't seen it for a while. So either people stop caring, or maybe I don't know. Maybe they actually fix something. Mm -hmm. Which sounds weird. So I'm guessing people stop caring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I guess it's the truth is the fact that I just, just was like, oh, that's just a weird way the game works, you know? I didn't even, I had no, no idea why that happened. I mean, I, it happened to me in a multiplayer race way, way back in Force of Four, and I wrote support about it. This was back when support had mm -hmm. uh, actual competent people replying <laughs> to your tickets. Mm -hmm. It was really weird back then. Um, but, and the reply was that, yeah, they, they knew about it. It was, uh, it, the servers uh, prioritized Xbox networking packets. They didn't know why it did so, but they were working <laughs> on it. And that's sort of, well, you'd have to code that thing. You'd have yes, to code that, have right? It. You, you'd have to tell the server <laughs> to unpack the networking packets and identify the system that sent it in order to prioritize it, right? <laughs> So, you know, take out that bit of code, ta-da! But, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I know it from. Um, mm -hmm. So, um, I'm, I'm thinking that, well, that gave the Xbox players the advantage. Mm -hmm. And I know there was some hoo-ha in Force of Five about the PC players getting an advantage due to their higher frame rate. So I'm guessing it's to combat that. I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, the way the, the game calculates uh, certain stuff is just weird. You know, like the distance thing being, uh, the distance driven being dependent on your refresh rate. What? Why? Yeah. I, I mean, they know all the distances of the roads in the game. So going from A to B following the road should give you, you know, it mm -hmm. should be simple. But mm, apparently yeah. it's not. Whatever. Anyway, the car I was using was the 1992 Honda NSX-R. And the tune I was using was... Uh, this one. There you go. 167-012-578. And remember, as always, if you use one of my tunes, please remember to like it. Same goes for the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye.